Hi, this is iPod Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to be explaining and demonstrating what a tethered jailbreak is. Uh, first, I'm going to explain an uh, untethered jailbreak means you can function your iPod, iPhone, or iPad like a normal iDevice and use it with Cydia and everything, restart your iPhone. A tethered jailbreak is when you restart your iPhone or it runs out of batteries and you plug it back in to a, a power source, you're going to need to re jailbreak it to use for it to even work. Now the nice thing about a semi jail semi jailbreak is is if you restart your phone, your iPod, your iPad, if if it's only a tethered jailbreak and you restart it, it's gonna pull up to a pseudo safe mode and then you can still run your basic apps. Um one app you can't run is mail, but I'll get into that a little more later. So um what you're gonna need to do to get a semi tethered jailbreak is to first have a jailbroken iPod you can run any iOS that has a jailbreak for it via Red Snow, and um, every single iDevice, um, uh, iPhone 4 and below, so the iPad 2, the iPhone 4S and above, you guys will need to, um, it might not work as well for you guys, but if there's a jailbreak out, whether it's tethered or untethered, as long as it's tethered, you can get a semi-tethered jailbreak for it. But anything below that, you'll have the shatter exploit and you'll always be able to jailbreak. So what you're going to want to do, to get the semi-tethered jailbreak, is first jailbreak it using Red Snow. It's a very self-explanatory tool. I'll have a link in the description to it. And once you get that and jailbreak your iPod, you're going to open up Cydia and go to Manage. You're going to go to Sources. Then you're going to want to edit and add this source. The Big Boss. Dot org slash semi tether. So add that source and all it has is one thing in it. It'll have the semi tether jailbreak. So once you add the source, it's gonna show up. Scroll down and see the big boss dot org. It's not gonna have the little symbol. And here it has two things. One mobile substrate. This is an um this is an essential safe mode that um if you job if you you really use anything on the apps on the city store you should already have this and the semi tether. Now semi tether is a form of safe mode. So um here uh this is some this is semi tether 0.9.1-1. This is um one of the earlier stages of semi tether. They will eventually release it into the big boss to the actual repo, but this is a as has full functionality. It kind of explains right here, and if you click on the more info, it kind of does like it kind of basically explains what I'm saying right now. So it, um, this is just a really nice thing, and um, they also just fixed it so that you can use Safari. But um, when you basically reboot it, you'll be able to use all your apps normally, except for um Safari Mail and maybe one or two of the other um, utilities that comes with your iPod. Um, a really easy way to get around this is to download another web browser, but I believe they fixed Safari in this version, or to download uh, like the the Google Mail app, um, or the Yahoo Mail app, or just go on your Safari browser, or your, um, or your other third-party browser, and you can check your mail from there. Um, you can still call, text, you can still do all that kind of stuff once you're in the safe mode of semi tether, but one of the uh, big warnings is do not enable any notification widgets from Cydia. If you do that, it will set your iPod into um, into a rebooting loop, and you'll have to restore it. So make sure you don't set any notification widgets from Cydia, like lock info or something like that. So this is really what a semi tether jailbreak is. It's just a really really nice tool. Um, after you're in the pseudo safe mode. When you restart your iPhone and you don't get to a computer, all you have to do to get back to the normal jailbreak is to plug it in and re-jailbreak, which with Red Snow, when you re-jailbreak it, it's a lot faster than jailbreaking it the first time. It just takes like a, it basically as fast as your iPhone reboots, that's how fast it takes. So um, this is a nice thing, it's getting easier and easier to just live with a tethered jailbreak because of these semi-tethered functionality that they're adding. And as they keep updating semi-tethered, it'll be a lot more and more like your your untethered jailbreak, except it's a lot easier than an untethered jailbreak for the jailbreaker's perspective. So this was just a really nice tweak. 
um, if you can't, um, if you don't want to wait for the untethered jailbreak to come out, or you accidentally upgrade and you don't get tidy umbrella, it's always useful to back your stuff up with tiny umbrella. You can watch my video on that. So then you can go back to older firmwares. Um, but just, if you can't do that, um, this is a really great alternative to do. It's safe. Um, it's easy. Um, obviously, you, it's not a fully untethered jailbreak, but um, it's just a really easy thing. So you would just install this and have your semi-tethered jailbreak. Enjoy. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.